notes receivable. Notes receivable, initial measurement. Conceptually, all notes receivable shall be measured at present value. So, lahat ng notes receivable, initial measurement niya is actually at present value. Notes receivable, initial measurement. So, sa pag-consider or sa pag-measure ng notes receivable, kailangan nating malaman muna kung siya ba ay short term or long term. So, notes receivable, initial measurement kapag short term at face value. Ibig sabihin kasi kapag short term, ang face value ng notes receivable is actually yun din yung present value ng short term receivable. Kapag naman long term, <coughs> kailangan nating malaman kung siya ba ay interest bearing or non-interest bearing. Kapag interest bearing, face value. Which is actually, yun din yung present value. Kapag non-interest bearing, initial measurement is present value. Kasi kapag non-interest bearing notes, ang, pre, ang face value niya is hindi equal doon sa present value. So, note receivable, lahat siya dapat ay present value. So, kapag non-interest bearing, present value. So, sa interest bearing note, which is yung topic natin today, <coughs> Ganito yung itsura niya. So yung face value niya is hindi yung face value niya is walang interest na nakapaloob. Ang interest ay nasa labas ng face value. So total amount collectible is the face value plus the interest na which is kapag interest bearing note ay wala sa face value. Notes receivable, interest bearing note. So meron tayong sample problem dito. Fatom Company sold to ABC a track of land costing 5 million or 7 million on January 1, 2019. ABC paid 1 million down and signed a 2-year promissory note for the remainder of the purchase price plus the 12% interest compounded annually. The note matures on January 1, 2021. <clears throat> so bilang si Fatom Company, nagbenta siya ng lupa noong January 1, 2019. For 7 million pesos. So, si Fatong Company, since nagusto pa niyang kumita ng, ng pera, instead na direct cash yung pagbili ng lupa, ang gagawin niya, pauutangin niya muna yung lupa. Para may kita siya na interest. So, mas malaki yung kikitain niya through notes, through notes dun sa pagbebenta ng lupa. And sa side naman ni ABC, which is yung buyer ng lupa, Mas pabor sa kanya kasi possible na walang, wala pang pera si ABC Company para ibili yung lupa. So, ang gagawin niya is down payment muna and yung balance is utang muna. So, sa side ni Fatom, notes receivable, mas malaking kita. Sa side naman ni, Fat, ni ABC, which is yung buyer, interest expense. The note matures on January 1, 2021. Ang lupa ay binenta noong January 1. And ABC paid down payment na 1 million and signed a 2-year promissory note. So, from 2, two years from January 1, 2019, January 1, 2010, at 2020, sorry, and January 1, 2021. So, yun yung maturity date ng notes receivable. And ang sabi, ang interest compounded annually, meaning, hindi lang yung face value ng notes receivable yung magkakaroon ng interes. Pati mismo yung interes, magkakaroon din siya ng interes. Ang sabi, prepare all indicated entries for 2019, 2020, and 2021. 2019. Okay. <clears throat> Notes receivable, receivable problem. So ito, ang una nating kailangan malaman is yung site ng notes receivable. Siya ba ay interest bearing or non-interest bearing? So sa problem na ito, siya ay interest bearing and ang notes receivable kapag interest bearing initial measurement so ito notes receivable na to ay long term kasi 2 years so kapag long term at interest bearing ang initial measurement ay face value which is yung present value ng notes receivable so ito ang present value ng notes receivable is Yung balance doon sa selling price na 
7 million pesos. Okay, so continuation tayo. So ang gagawin natin is classify muna yung notes receivable. So yung notes receivable dito is interest bearing na long term. And initial measurement niya is at face value which is yun yung present value ng notes receivable. So, ang gagawin muna natin is titingnan muna natin kung magkano yung notes receivable. So, ang selling price ng lupa is 7 million pesos. Yung down payment is 1 million. Therefore, yung notes receivable is 6 million pesos interest bearing face value Ito yung face value ng notes receivable, interest bearing, which is equal sa present value. And yung structure ng face value, or sorry, yung structure ng interest bearing notes is ganito. So yung face value niya is walang composition ng interest. Ang interest is nasa labas ng face value. Hindi siya nakapaloob. Since na merong benta ng lupa, so meron niyang gain or loss on sale. So, kukumpitin din natin yung gain or loss on sale. So, the selling price is 7 million. Ang cost ng lupa ay 5 million. Therefore, yung gain ay 2 million pesos. <coughs> so, na-compute na natin yung Notes receivable, na-compute na natin yung gain. So, i-record na natin yung sale ng lupa. To record yung sale ng lupa, the entry would be debit. Una, yung down payment. Kasi nakareceive si Fatom ng cash na down payment na 1 million pesos. Sunod, Yung notes receivable na utang muna ni ABC Company. That is 6 million. Nagbenta ng asset. So, nabawasan yung asset ng FATOM. So, credit, land, 5 million. And, meron tayong gain on sale, 2 million. Gain on sale of land. That is 2 million. Debit must be equal to credit. 7 million sa debit, 7 million sa credit. So, ito ay to record yung sale ng lupa ni Fatom Company kay ABC Company. Okay, yung sale ay nangyari ng January 1, 2019. So, nasa year 2019 pa rin tayo. So, ano pa ang dapat natin i-record? So, kapag year end, magkakaroon tayo ng adjusting entry for interest income. So, December 31, 2019, <coughs> kukumpitin natin yung interest income. Debit, accrued. Interest, receivable. Credit, interest income. That is 6 million, which is yung note receivable, times the rate, which is 12%, times number of months, January to December. So, 12 months divided by 12. So, siya ay 1 year. So, the interest receivable is 720,000 pesos. So, kumita pa si Fatong Company ng 720 aside dun sa 2 million na gain on sale ng lupa. So, 2020, since na ito, ay lump sum note, meaning babayaran niya yung 6 million in one-time payment sa January 1, 2021. Sa 2020, is ire-record lang ni Fatom Company at year-end yung interest income for the year 2020. Okay, for the year 2020, to record the interest income, December 31, 2020, debit, accrued, interest, receivable. Credit, interest, income. Okay. Ito ay compounded annually. So, ibig sabihin, pati yung interest na 720, meron din siyang 
interest sa 2020. So, ang notes receivable is 6 million. The interest for the year 2019 is 720. Meaning, yung basis is 6.72 million. Ito yung basihan ng interest for the year 2020. Kasi siya ay compounded annually. 6.72 million times 1 year at 12%. So, the interest income for year 2020 is 806,400. 806,400 interest income. So, kumita ulit si FATOM ng 806,000 sa pagbebenta ng lupa assigned sa gain on sale na 2 million. Okay, so down na tayo sa year 2021, the maturity of notes receivable. Meaning, ito yung due date ng notes receivable ni Fatong Company galing kay ABC Company. Ito na yung time na magbabayad si ABC Company kay Fatong Company. So, year 2021, so January 1, 2021. Okay, <clears throat> meron ditong notes receivable account accrued interest receivable na account. So, dalawang receivable yung collectible kay ABC. Yung notes tsaka yung interest. So, debit cash that is 6 million plus eto, yung receivable na interest bearing ay yung accrued interest receivable ng December 2019 720 Plus, ito, yung 806,400. So, total cash received ni Fatom from the sale of land is 7,526,400. Credit, notes receivable, 6 million credit accrued. Interest receivable. 720 yung nasa 2019 plus 806,400 that is 1,526,400 so malaki yung kinita ni Fatong Company mula kay ABC Company dahil sa pagbebenta niya ng lupa meron siyang 2 million na gain on sale Meron pa siyang interest income na 1,056,400 in total. So, mas malaki yung na-receive na income ni Fatong Company kaya pinautang niya muna yung lupa na binenta niya kay Fatong Company. So, ito na yung notes receivable interest bearing notes.